Nethinandam blissful beings, this is Priscilla, and today I wanted to make a little bit of a different video. Normally I'll just share my personal experiences, my life, but today I wanted to make a video about something I'm very, very passionate about and something I wish that I kind of had seen two years ago. So I'm making a video about 15 foods that you would never guess aren't vegetarian. 15 foods you think you're completely safe with as a vegetarian or a vegan, but are actually containing animal products and are not cruelty free. See, in the way our food industry works, especially in the United States with the FDA, so much is approved and um, hidden by, by scientific language, sci uh, scientific labeling, that you have no idea sometimes what you're actually consuming. Actually, pretty often you don't know what you're consuming, sadly. And there are so many additives in foods that you would seriously never guess exist in real life, but do. And some things shocked me so much. And when I, and I realized even into vegetarianism, I had messed up and had been eating these things for so long. And the reason, just a little bit of a context before I start, why vegetarianism is so vital to the world we're living in today is because an estimated minimum 51% of greenhouse gas emissions are from factory farming, are from animal agriculture. Meaning the diet you have is the number one way you can help save the planet, is by removing animal products out of your diet, okay? This is according to the uh, F uh, FAO, by the way, the Food and Agriculture Organization, in case you were wondering. So very credible source. And, okay, so I'm gonna start by telling you some foods that you would seriously never expect aren't vegetarian. So the first food that blew me out of the water was marshmallows. <laughs> Such a small thing, but are not vegetarian. Why? Because of gelatin. Gelatin is made of ground up bones and animal ligaments. Yes, you heard it right. <laughs> and this is in so many products, which a few else are on my list, which I'm gonna get into. But gelatin is used as like, um, you know, like it changes the consistency, right? It brings, it pulls things together and it's used this for the squishy texture. And gelatin is in marshmallows almost always unless you buy vegan marshmallows. So be warned, s'mores are not your friend anymore as a vegetarian, okay? Number two, vegetable soups or soups in general. This is something, it's kind of like under the radar, you just don't think about, but it does make sense, right? Is a lot, majority of soups you find out eating out or in restaurants, anything, are made with beef or chicken based broth. So even if you think you're safe, even it, on the menu it will say vegetable soup, spinach soup, broccoli soup, all these things, and they're still not vegetarian. It's so sad, it's so scary, and you think you're safe because it's all vegetable based, but it's not. The broth is actually often beef based. So keep a lookout for that when you're, especially when you're eating out. Number three is refried beans. So uh, beans are a huge staple of vegetarians, veget vegetarian vegan diet because they're a main source of protein. Uh, for veg eaters, but often, especially this is a huge problem I had in Southern California, eating at Mexican restaurants, the refried beans you'll often find eating out, the reason they're so delicious is because they use lard. Animal fat is used to flavor them. So be very careful, even when you're eating beans and think you're safe, black beans are always the safest call, so try to just stick with black beans, plus they're way better for you. Anyway. Number four is one that kind of blew my mind actually, cheese. Cheese is not vegetarian always. Not, I'm not meaning vegan, I'm meaning vegetarian. Because there's a product called rennet within some cheeses. One example of this is Parmesan cheese. No, now, any Parmesan has rennet in it, meaning no Parmesan is safe for you as a vegetarian. So Parmesan cheese, you gotta cut out of your life, I'm sorry to break the news to you. Um, and some other cheeses. Rennet is made from the stomach lining of calves. Yes, not just cows, calves, which is even sadder, especially as an animal lover and vegetarians that we all are. Baby cows, the stomach lining, disgusting, and they use it to process cheeses. Yeah, not good, especially when you get cheeses from overseas. Um, from Britain especially, they often use animal-based rennet. Number five, red candies and foods. Why is this? Because red dye, also known as red, red 4, labeled on ingredients, um, E120 or carmine, 
is actually the coloring they get to, to dye things like um, gummy bears, uh, M&Ms, other candies, things like this, right? That bright red, fake red color you see that's often in uh, uh, produced foods is actually from the shell of beetles. They actually extract this dye from beetles, so beetles are killed naturally by the making of this dye. So also be warned about this, bright red colored fake Red colored foods, also not your friend. Number six. This is one I never expected and actually only found out out a few months ago, which made me so sad to know I was eating it. White sugar. White sugar is not vegetarian. Why? Because white sugar is actually processed. Um, basically, it's refined through a process using animal bone. Yes. Very scary, I know. <laughs> this bone is actually used to help refine the sugar. So there's no bone actually in the sugar you're consuming, but in the, refri the refining process, bone char is used to help refine the sugar. So naturally, there are animals killed to get the bone in the first place. <laughs> so it's not a cruelty-free product. There are some white sugars out there that don't use this refining process, but it's extremely hard to know which ones are safe, and um, it's not required by law to be labeled, of course. Thank you, FDA. So it's pretty impossible to know. So the safest things you can do are find even things like cane sugar, natural organic brown sugar, are more safer bets for you. Number seven, gummy candies. So sad, but gummy bears are no longer your friends either. <laughs> Any gummy, gummy type products, that consistency, as I mentioned in number one, is from gelatin. Gelatin is not vegetarian, so all the candies that have this consistency, that squishy gelatin, um, jelly-like substance, not safe for you to eat. Number eight is actually one I did not expect as well as vegetarian. Vegan I expected. Yogurt. Yogurt is actually not vegetarian always. Such a surprise. Like Some, some foods you think you're so safe with. This is such a staple for breakfast, right, for, uh, for vegetarians, but it's actually not often safe. Because it contains two, two dangerous things, one being gelatin, again, and two being fish oil. Because often these yogurts, when they say they're heart healthy, good for your body, means they add omega-3s into them. Omega-3s are from fish oil extract. So they're actually not vegetarian. So check out, be on the lookout for the yogurts that you're looking at. There are definitely safe yogurts out there, but you do have to keep an eye out. Make sure you're getting one that's cruelty free. Number nine. Natural vanilla flavor, or what they call natural, is actually from castorium, which means a juice from beaver's butts. Yes, you heard this correctly. This is FDA approved to be unlisted in your ingredients. So when you have things like a vanilla ice cream, this is often says natural vanilla flavor. It means this, it is from beaver butt juice, not from vanilla itself. Number 10, orange juice. This is crazy to me because I never would expect a juice to be not vegetarian, but it's because when they make orange juices heart healthy, they often add in things that aren't naturally in orange juice. T two things, one being omega-3s, again, from fish oil. Two being lanolin. This is actually from sheep's wool and it gives vitamin D into the orange juice. So it will be listed as omega-3s and lanolin. Just know it's actually from fish and sheep. <laughs> so not safe to drink. Number 11, bananas. This blew my mind. They actually spray on bananas a preservative called chitosan, which is actually from um, shellfish. So sometimes bananas are actually coated in, uh, in, a, in a, an ingredient from shellfish. Number 12 is bagels and breads. So as a vegan, these things are often not safe, but I didn't expect them to be unsafe for vegetarians. The reason is because a thing, an ingredient you'll see listed is L-cysteine. Not always in breads, but often, in, especially in bagels, this is often in bagels. It's a dough conditioner, but it's actually from duck and goose feathers. And sometimes human hair. Disgusting, I know. L-cysteine, be on the lookout. Number 13 is hard-coated candies. So, sorry, more sweets you have to stay away from, but these have shellac in them, which is from bug juice. So actually, they have this bug extract as well, um, similar to the red dye, and it's hard-coated candies. Surprisingly, M&Ms are safe. 
Number 14 is beer and wine. So actually, some alcohol is not vegetarian because they often clarify beers and wines with a thing called Isenglass. This will be, it'll be listed as Isenglass. And it's actually a gelatin extracted from fish bladders. So random, I know. <laughs> but many beers from Europe, for example, Guinness, use this clarification process. So their products are actually not vegetarian. Last but not least, number 15 is Worcestershire sauce and condiments in general. Always be on the lookout for condiments because they have so many things thrown in there that you don't really know what they are. Worcestershire sauce has anchovies in it, which give it its taste, so it's actually completely non-veg. So be on the lookout. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was informative and can help you continue to make better and more cruelty-free decisions and help create a healthier planet and a healthier body for you and protect all life and all living beings. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you have any questions, let me know, please. Um, I'll be more than happy to answer with what I know. And I will put all my research I made for this video in the description. I'll put the link so you guys can find out more information if you'd like. And I plan on making more videos about vegetarianism and things you might not know about it. So I hope this helped you guys get, gain a little clarity. And thank you guys so much again for watching. I'll see you soon. Nithyananda.